Welcome to another review. This time we are looking at the Czech State Railways uh, passenger cars recently released by Rocco. I have two of them, a catalog number 64645 and 64643. Um, the classification of the cars is BMZ and ABMZ. Classic Rocco, hard case, uh, clear plastic inside. one car and then underneath behind the liner there's a manual and two sachets with small parts. First impression straight out of the box is actually very good. This is the model with all the small parts applied and we'll talk about it a little bit later. Of course the paint quality is absolutely fantastic, uh, classic Rocco execution. One of the things that you cannot not notice right away, uh, straight out of the box, uh, are the crystal clear windows and the updated and upgraded interior of the car. I'll take the car apart later on to take a look inside. Right, these models are coming factory equipped with uh, short couplers, Rocco style short, short couplers. The buffers are fixed, they are not spring loaded. And the transitions between the cars are one piece of injection molded plastic. Uh, plastic included the transition plates which are not re retractable. And as you can see it's not the best uh, uh, looking feature of this model. As you can see the undercarriage looks actually quite plasticky for this model and uh, one more thing that is actually quite disappointing is this. You can speed this track, spin this track 360 degrees. Just like for most of the modern passenger cars models, the tracks and the entire suspension is snap on or snap in. And there is something I haven't seen for quite some time. There is a washer in between the track and the bolster and the pivot point. Some of the air tanks visible here are included in, this, uh, in a sachet with the small parts and they need to be installed by hand. Um, they're pressing and they're actually sitting very well. You don't need to glue them. And some of the other small parts which are included in the sachets and uh, must be uh, added later on are the electrical connectors here, the handrails, the stabilizers on the side of the trucks and there is also a tiny cap on one of the bearings so let's take a look at the interior. Snap on shell, kind of a little bit difficult to take off, so you have to be careful. But uh, here's what we have. Nicely done compartments. Not the state of the art, and this is not the LS models, but uh, definitely an upgrade for Rocco. And you can also see the difference between the first and the second class compartments, uh, both in the size and the spacing of the walls, as well as the color of the seats. On the corridor side, you can see the compartments, walls and the doors and uh, actually printed frames around the windows. There is no glass of course here, this is all see-through. Um, and the seat assignment tags as well, so this is actually quite nice uh, upgrade. As you can see the windows and the clarity of the windows and the plastic in the windows is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, crystal clear.
So my personal impression, um, standard ro Rocco execution. Um, very good looking model, but at the same time there is nothing really overwhelmingly impressive about it either. The main body is done really nice, uh, and you can see the paint quality is very good. Uh, so are all the markings and the letterings um, on the side of the body. The clarity of, of the windows is really fantastic, um, and the upgraded and updated interior looks quite impressive. Unfortunately, at least for my taste, some of the side frames, elements and the uh, imitation of a suspension as well as the transition between the cars uh, is looking way too cheap and too plasticky and they remind me of some of the elements of the details you can see on Rocco models made in 1985. And just to provide a little bit more perspective, I have the uh, Rocco car set up in consist with some of the LS models uh, sleeping cars. Yes, there's a price difference between the LS model cars and the Roccos, but just simply to give you an idea uh, of what to expect from quality standpoint of view, you can clearly see the difference between the glare and plasticky appearance of the Rocco car and very nicely detailed LS cars uh, side frames. Um, and once again, this is completely different partition of the market. There's about $20 difference between both of the cars. The LS, uh, the CD cars here in the uh, US are priced um, about $40 to $45 a piece. So happy model railroading. Uh, thank you very much.